All right, so before we get started, what I'd like to do is update the firmware on this ECU. It's been a little while since the E30 was touched, and it is still on um, 151 firmware. So we're going to get that updated to uh, 161 firmware, which you know has completely new uh, dead time settings. So we're going to go through, and we're going to update the required fuel for the larger 52-pound injectors over stock update the uh, injector dead times, and I'll also um, at some point navigate to our support page on the website and show you where you can find a write-up uh, on how and with a spreadsheet that will detail um, instructions on how to convert your dead time settings if you've already input them for your injectors for uh, 1.5 firmware to the 1.6 firmware. Let's get started. All right, we'll get the ECU connected here. All right, it's been a little while since, uh, since I connected. So I'm gonna pull the controller settings or the settings that are in the ECU. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Tools. I'm going to go to Update Install Firmware. Don't mind this stuff. Um, I have the developer version of Tuner Studio on my laptop. So got some extra items there. Once we're uh, in the Firmware Update Utility, we are going to back up our project. This is important. You always want to back up your project. You can see I. I went through this just a moment ago. You can choose to include the data logs and restore points. What this does is this gives you a file. There's a complete backup just in case something goes wrong. You manage to unhook the ECU during the firmware load. You shut the car off on accident. Um, you can at least get your project data back. Um, although you will still have to get firmware back onto the ECU if that happens. Give it a moment, let the project back up. It'll run through a connection again. Once you're connected, it'll tell you exactly what ECU uh, that you have. Uh, this is telling me that we have an MS3 Pro. Now, on this one, you have to click other slash browse. And when you go to the MS Extra downloads, uh, for firmware, and we'll navigate to the website and catch you a link there. Uh, you're going to have to actually navigate probably to your downloads folder, to the firmware folder. You can see this firmware folder's uh, uh, MS3 release 161. I'm going to choose MS3 Pro Plus for this one. And you can see that it's telling me that it recommends MS3 Pro, not MS3 Pro Plus. It's telling me that it rec recommends MS3 Pro because um, of the ECU. This is an older ECU. It has not been, it's not a plus ECU. This is one of the uh, early MS3 Pro plug and plays for the E30. So I am going to use the recommended firmware. Always use the recommended firmware for your ECU, unless the tech support team tells you otherwise. Going to go through some README and some firmware notes. Now, this firmware update, uh, firmware loader options, you'll notice that these boxes are automatically checked for preserve sensor calibrations and preserve port states. That's important. If you've already got a tune and it's already set up, and the car already works and, and you want to keep it that way, leave these boxes checked. If you uncheck these boxes, you're essentially telling it, wipe that data out and start me fresh. We don't want to start fresh. We want to import everything we've already got completed to the new firmware. So I'm going to leave those checked. And you can see the first thing it does, it says preserving sensor calibrations. And now this is going to take a minute. Loading firmware is never a fast thing. So it's going to first erase the main flash. Uh, it's, again, very important, don't shut the car off, 
do not disconnect from the ECU at any time. Also, before you start updating, if your car has been sitting for a while and it's a, you know, it's a car that maybe, you know, sits the entire winter in storage, put a battery charger on it first. The last thing you want to do is have the battery go dead during a firmware update. And then the ECU uh, to you will probably seem like a brick afterwards <laughs> because if it's erased the main flash before it's loaded anything new, you'll have nothing. The, the ECU will be blank. That's fixable. Uh, it's called bootloader mode. Um, if that does happen to you, just contact tech support and we can help you out. Uh, you can see it's erased the main flash. Now we're loading firmware to the controller. Um, probably take another 30 seconds or so. Okay, now you see how it, it said restoring sensor calibrations. Do not click the next button until it has finished restoring. If you force it to the next step uh, before it has completed what it's doing, it's going to skip that step and it won't restore the sensor calibration. So be patient. Let the firmware utility do its job. And then once we're at this page where it says firmware load complete, we're ready to continue. And now see this restore project tune settings. If we hit finish, what it's going to do is it's going to bring us back up. Our sensors will be calibrated and our port states will be set, but it's not going to, it may not load the tune appropriately. We want to make sure we restore project tune settings. See, it says restoring project tune. And then we're going to hit finish. So, uh, yeah, you know, this happens on any project car when you've made a lot of changes or done a lot of fixes, and then you start up the first time. It's always good to have a second set of hands to look everything over, especially if you had a fuel rail off or you've worked on the oiling system. Well, my E30 just marked its territory, and uh, it's because, you know, I didn't tighten one of the fittings. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, yeah. Finger tight. Good job, Steve. Uh, let's check them all, <laughs> just in case. Note to self, when you're working on this, do all of it in one shot. Do not walk away in the middle of it because, you know, you'll forget. Probably ought to take a second. I'm going to put this thing up in the air and just check them all. So, give me a minute. Nothing little oil dry can't fix. No big deal. Genuine. Okay, so what started the entire E30 redo with the new exhaust and everything is I had to, had to pull the transmission out. Those of you who are in the know, you know, my third pedal lovers, this is the only thing left of the clutch that came out of the car pressure plate, you know, there's supposed to be clutch material there. I was going in the turn 10 a at road Atlanta and I did my heel toe, my downshift. I was, I was cooking. I braked a little late and, um, which was fine, but I was, I was on a hot lap. I was, I was pushing hard and, um, the clutch just kind of dis disintegrated going in the turn 10 a, um, it, it, it really sucks. It was the, the second session out for the day. So my whole weekend was done. But, uh, you know, the, it was nasty. If you've never had a clutch come apart on you, it's an experience every car guy should, uh, should go through because it's the most disgusting thing you'll ever clean up. All right. Three hours later. So around here, in the building, we have what we call Carlisms. And Carl, of course, is our superlative fixer. That He chose that title. I have, I have no idea actually what it means. Um, well, Carl does Carl things. And that's also another saying. And 
he's repurposed all kinds of buttons in the dash for stuff in the car. I honestly, I don't remember how to get this window down. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to press buttons until it rolls down. Oh, that's that one. There we go. Thank you, Carl. You should see it when you want to get like the fan or your cool shirt going. I'm not, I still don't remember which button it is. I just push buttons until the cool shirt works. All right, I'm gonna check oil because enough of it has hit the ground now that I know the oil looks really bad, but it's it's actually like a a racing oil, uh, 2050 weight. And ah, we're near the bottom of the stick, but I'm gonna do an oil change, so we're good for now. Car's just gonna be idling anyway. Next time on DIY Auto Tune. Okay, now that we have the firmware updated in the ECU, uh, what we need to do is modify the tune for the modifications done to the vehicle.